Hi everyone and welcome back to Make Me Unusual. So today is going to be a quick video. It's just another segment of my fuck it list series. Um, this is actually part one of this specific, um, of this specific item because I'm kind of slowing down on it. Um, but if you're interested to hear my experience with my piercings, um, I'm sure you know by the title, then stay tuned. So come on, give me love. I'ma show you how to move, how to move with my body. Come hit me with your touch and make me wanna say. Okay, so originally I wanted to wait until my entire um, earscape was done, but the thing with piercings, and I'm sure like if you have a piercing, you know, they are much more traumatic and they're much more um, difficult to heal. So I did get a total of four <laughs> piercings um, over the last couple months and I've decided since I'm now done the bottom half of my, yeah, the, the bottom half of my ear, I've decided I wanted to take a break and let them fully heal so I can focus on them healing before I continue. Today um, is... I'm going to be working on one of my bucket list items and that is my piercings so I already started this in like October of last year I just hadn't fully fleshed out the idea of doing the bucket list in the first place I haven't fully fleshed out the idea of the bucket list yet so I did do some of my piercings already but I will be documenting the rest of them uh, so if you're interested in the piercing series for this bucket list, um, or the piercing chapter for this bucket list series, then stay tuned. I got these in October. Today, I will be going to get two more on this side in between these two earrings. So they're going to go right in here. Uh, that is just the next one for my earscape. I have quite a few planned out, but you can only, or you should only get maximum three piercings per sitting. Um, so I'm just going to get the two that are in here, and then we'll be traveling up the ear after I get these two. So I should be done my lobe piercings uh, today, and then we'll start climbing up the ear for the rest of the earscape. Uh, yeah. So I will show you um, what I got done and then we'll talk about like what I am looking to do moving forward. Alright so piercings obviously are less permanent than a tattoo but they're certainly more traumatic than a tattoo like a tattoo's healing is like two weeks maybe the shedding involved is itchy but with a piercing 
you can do so much to irritate it and it takes months to heal to the point where you can even change the jewelry and if you're irritating the, the every time you irritate the piercing you set yourself back in the healing process and it is a pain in the ass especially well not especially all piercings are hard to heal um, but like on your ears when it comes to like sleeping if you sleep on either side um, it can cause damage to the piercings and whatnot so I did have not a lot of trouble um, healing yeah not a lot of trouble healing the piercings but I did two originally and I waited I think like two months three months two months um, before I did the next set and even like the first set wasn't healed properly or all the way and I had some issues so I decided to take a break but we're gonna talk about uh, what I have done so far so this is gonna be part one I originally had my first and second earlobe piercings from like years ago so I got my first ones done when I was like three months and then I got my seconds in grade school so those have been there forever they're never gonna close they're permanent so I've been working around the two existing piercings but I have finished my lobe piercings so I went to pierced in square one so this is in Mississauga Ontario and I've been working with Alex I'll put his handle here he is a absolute sweetheart um, he is very very knowledgeable and he's helped make most of my decisions up until this point he has also helped me with my plan for my top earscape so love love his expertise I'm really hoping he can do the rest of my earscape um, but yeah so we'll start with the first two that I got which are these two okay so now that we're really close to my ear I originally had this is my first lobe obviously and my second lobe piercing and then I got two um, like it's like a vertical pair along the top like this is treading like not earlobe territory but two along next to each other um, just two little tiny pieces in that area um, I am thinking on this ear I have a tag up in this corner so I'm trying to avoid the top part like the very very top part of this ear but I am looking at possibly getting like my tragus done um, or the orbital here um, or the rook which would be right here one that could also be cool is the conch uh, those are the ones that I am like considering at this time again I have decided to slow down on piercings one because like I need to be dead set on what it is that I want to get and two uh, just for healing purposes because once the farther up the ear you go the harder it is to heal the piercing at um, pierced they suggest not doing more than three piercings in one sitting which is understandable because again they are traumatic to heal um but once i start going up into like cartilage area so any part of my ear that has cartilage i think i would just be doing one at a time just for the sake or the interest of healing so this theoretically is going to take much longer than like this year but I'm okay with that as long as they heal properly and I don't have like aggravated disgusting looking piercings um, so that is my idea for that ear so on this ear I have again my first and second they're in first and second they're in the exact same place as the other ear but then I got another vertical pair in between um, the two so it's a cluster of piercings so I could do all I could do all um, studs in this area and be real decorative I haven't done any decorating yet because like I'm still waiting for the piercings to heal fully but yes I did a vertical set 
here but on this ear I am looking to do a full like cluster or like constellation piece on the flat of my ear that is the main focus for this ear again a lot of this I am thinking about I'm pretty dead set on what is gonna happen on this I, like I'm dead set on what's going on with the flat um, it's just now positioning of the clusters that I will be working with a piercer to figure out I, I don't know might throw in another <laughs> piercing on that side this ear is more hypothetical at this stage but that is part one once I go further up the ear I will make other update videos for that but yes thank you um, for joining me if you like this series or if you are looking to uh, get your own piercings or you have any suggestions please let me know in the comments below other than that please like comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next one bye <laughs>